Yeah. Well, you got you were on before we got the police kicked off. Can you I make it even please. bigger? <laughs> I don't know if anybody's got a screen. I don't know. I don't know. It's three dots. It's a No, full screen. You just then throw it out of work in better places. Three dots. Full screen. There you go. Good. All right. Much better. So that way, if people need the screen share, it'll be easier to see. I'm not talking about bars. All right. So the microphone's on. You're recording. That's what I thought you saw. Oh, well, no, it's different. I want to kick off an island. Yep. No, oh, that's good. Yeah, right, yeah, get rid of that. And then. Long Island. Island. Okay, Long so I will call this regular meeting of the Public Site and Building Commission to order at 7.01. Please join me in. Somebody took our flag. Right over there. Oh, it's over there. That's okay, right. pledge. <laughs> I pledge Let allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. To the Republic, to the Republic of which stands one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you, so everyone. Sure enough, um, no public, so we don't really have public input, and no additional correspondence. Meeting minutes. I will make a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of October twenty third, twenty twenty four. I'll second. John Menti seconds. I I did read through them. I think Jolene was here last time. Yeah. And um, I don't know if anybody has any additions or corrections that need to be made. All in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And does anybody have to abstain? We're good with that. Okay. No Thank you. Um, so before we get into our old business, there's a couple things. I a few people, John's not getting emails. We're not sure why. I Today, all of a sudden, I got a whole bunch of email dumps. Just, I mean, Including from other places. Including from Kathy, like the invitation? Oh, yeah, period. I got hers okay. today and right. about six or seven others from other places. Okay. Um, and they all went to my trash. Uh, all right. Well, so, you might yes. need to check in with Frontier because your name and your email address, yeah. which is the same as we've been using right. is in the distribution list so you're gonna to have to check with and today they and everybody else gets the Kathy's invitation correct yes mm -hmm. i just need people to reply the yes maybe no I, um I, I, um so yeah. yes and then it goes into my calendar so i'm assuming yes yeah. yes so you need to do that and that way i keep track if to see if we have a quorum if we don't have a quorum then i don't really want to drag people out i want to know ahead of time so if you could just keep up with that, that would be great. And John, I, I don't know what to say. Well, my, I got it. Like I said, I got a, a whole dump of stuff. That's right crazy, now. but it mm. might be your frontier, and you might need to check into that. Pay bill. So, oh, um, bill. Shit. So Girl. yeah, pay your bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> Minor detail. And as far as a quorum and all that, we there's a couple things coming up that we're going to need to deal with um, in general. Um, should I say that you just gave me this? Yes. Okay. Roy just gave me his letter of resignation, which he will submit to the town clerk and to uh, Dan Carter tomorrow. Roy had um, agreed to stay on, was reappointed, but for another year, maybe two, this is the end of a year. He's been traveling a lot, retired, et cetera. It's making it harder for him to get to meetings. So he's retiring, resigning from the commission at the end of December. I know that my term is up and Dave Olson's term is up at the end of December. New people should be appointed in January. And I have to find out, I know yours is, you're filling a vacancy, so I have to find out when that is. And I think you're good for another year or two or whatever. Yeah. John Menti has indicated that he's going to resign also. So we're gonna be scrambling to get, I mean, I'm not gonna disappear. I, the the reappointments or appointments happen in january the board of selectmen does that sometimes they do it in december if they have names etc and i would appreciate it if anybody whose terms are up or if they're planning to not continue if you could at least get us through until the board of selectmen appoints new people um, or people to fill vacancies because we need to continue to move along with the biggest issue is the HVAC uh, project. We need to keep getting things 
finished and moving along so that uh, we are able to complete that project by the deadline placed on us by the state. And the other thing that we need to do, so we, we're going to need to look at whose terms need to get reappointed, et cetera. We have to put together a calendar that we submit to the town clerk, and that has to be done by the end of January. And usually what I will get as chair, we'll get a, Lisa, a letter from Lisa saying, this, there are the things you have to do, do them soon. So in looking into the new year and the projects that we have, we're basically completing several. And do we need to meet twice a month? Or can we get by with meeting once a month? So think about that. And when we put together a calendar, we'll have to look at that. Okay. So all that being said, I will be moving into old business. So the training range. Um, Dave Horvath is still working on the makeup air unit and how to get that operating um, on a Setback schedule, yeah. yeah, like a setback thermostat sort of thing. And he asked me for the submittals, which I was trying to find. They're they're in the shared drive under the whole package of um and for some reason Jakonsky Humes. I but I think it's because of your new email address. So we're gonna have to look at that. Okay. Because your email, your old email address is on the list of who can get into this. So you may have uh, to ask and then okay. we have to set up you get in sense. like that. Yeah. Because I know that. Back, way back when we just and it's just the submittals from the makeup air unit which was part of action targets package that, they, that we had to go through and the only thing i can find is the signature page that i have saved in a folder right i could only find a few things and it wasn't right what i wanted and the um i know that it was vinnie was sent when vinnie first started sending out um, documents for meetings instead of sending them as attachment he said one link to where all the documents were and none of us could get there because of the way it was set up so we'll uh, we'll find it and how uh receptive do you think action target would be if i had my guy reach out to them the aon rep that i know to like david johnson yeah to somebody that can target and see i don't know you could try okay you could try I'll, but I'll, we have I'll, we I'll, have that stuff because it's on file the building department too so that's another because they have it on let me think about maybe emailing chris baldwin and asking him because i'll show you when we're done okay what i see great and i was trying to send it to you as a link but i think it might be too big so Thank you. because it's the jakunski humes plus the action target so it's if it was just time. the action target i think it would be okay so uh, give myself notes so i remember Because I think that the action target plans for both the range equipment and the makeup air unit had to go to the building department to get a permit. So okay. So that's gonna help you think having that information is gonna make it easier to get what we need. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll get that figured out. Um the other thing is if they do come out obviously we're going to get charged for that so there's still some money in the not a lot but okay. like is it is it esc or is who's coming out no this is a private contractor right. it's an aon rep so it's who i've worked with aon. in the past okay. yeah yep all right as long as it's connected with aon yeah and yeah he does a ton of work for uh, the right. aon people okay and if the performance mechanical or the installers they were the ones that went that worked with Action Target to be the local installers. They're out of Bristol or someplace like that. No, this guy actually. No, I'm just saying that oh. they're the ones that did the installation. So I don't know if you need any. Nope. Just, I just need just the okay. submittals of the HVAC, what they right. used. Okay. Um, Because I did, when I was up there, I didn't take pictures of the wiring diagram and stuff, but it doesn't yeah. show what they connected to. So. Okay. We'll get that figured out. But again, if performance mechanical as the installers have can be of it help. I would go to them directly and then not through action target if you can because somebody else did that. He went to performance, I think 
STV, Evan may have gone to performance mechanical directly with some questions because when it rooted through action target, it would take longer for us mm -hmm. to get the answers. So, yeah, it's similar. I get the similar. Right. We're fine. We'll see what we can find. Maybe just before you leave, we'll look okay. at it. Cool. All right. And we have an invoice. So, throughout the last month, we were working, uh, CES, our commissioning agent, was working with the town and others to make sure that they had remote access because that was never resolved. Finally, it is to do the commissioning through each season. So we have one invoice from CES. I'll make a motion that we approve. I sent it around to everyone. Uh, the CES invoice number 20233522.0.0.0-0000008. You're gonna look at it <laughs> for the range, commissioning on the range for the month of October in the amount of $200. Second. Roy seconds it. Any questions on it? It's pretty standard. And this was basically some coordination to get the BMS connection. Um, they still have to do the commissioning part. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Done. And we still have uh, met 2800 that we owe CES, which is still in the budget because it's accounted for. And they will be billing us as they do the commissioning through the seasons. Mm -hmm. And that's it on the range. I don't think there's anything else. I haven't. So in, when you went up there, David, did you hear anything like it's getting colder, but it's not too bad? They shouldn't have any issues in there right now? No, I so, mean, the when he turned that thing on, we went outside, came back in within eight minutes. Yeah, it was warm. It was, yeah. And that's that's the only other thing that kind of worries me is it's going to cycle really quick. So, so we don't want it cycling all the time. There's got to be a way to... Uh, I mean, that's what we remember originally when John and I were saying we have just one small unit to temper it. Yeah, right? right. This unit starting up and running is, I mean, number one, the electric car and everything else does ramp up so slow. But I just don't know how long it takes to cool down once it gets to room temperature. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to get from 72 back down to, say, 58? Or 60 50, or whatever. Right? Yeah, whatever, 50. Yeah. yeah. So it, it might take four hours, which is fine. Yeah. Or it might take an hour. I don't know. And we so, may have to figure out how to pay attention to that. Well, that's not so hard. Once we get yeah. the BMS up and running, we can right. trend it. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. I can trend it and do all yeah. that. Okay. I think it's going to be fairly quick because there's no insulation in there. I would have to agree with you. So it's, it's just a CME wall. wall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's a single wall. So yeah. I'm a little bit concerned about that. But we don't want it cycling, thing. like you said, every five minutes or even right. every hour. So. Yeah, it'd be great to figure out how we can right. not have that happen. Yeah. I might have to go up there on a Saturday, like literally go up there on Saturday and talk to Lieutenant Bertini and say, Look, I want to sit in here for the next four hours mm -hmm. and just, just, yeah, wait see for what a cold day and just see what the temperature was. But yeah. we should also be able to get a report out of CES if they've got remote access. Actually, they should be, actually, yeah, they should happen. be able to trend the temperature right now. Absolutely. So maybe we should ask them, ECS, okay. to get a trend going and see what it does over more more so at night than daytime because so, daytime you get a little solar load and all that but if nighttime. it's not on an automatic thing now we're not going to get that no but they still should be able to trend the temperature so the oh, temperature yeah, 70 inside the building yep. okay yep. and outdoors they should have outdoor and indoor air temps. so they should be able to run co trends on and yeah i'm going to ask them because yeah, because that would be they awesome mean, if we could get that ahead of time as well. That also comes into play of, you know, maybe we just put on it. If we can't go to what we wanted to do, we just put on a timer. And every two hours, it runs for five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour. Yeah. That's There's more one, one way to skin tag that. Yeah. Right now, I'm not okay. Yeah. So, anything else on the range? Anybody got any questions or nothing else has come up? So, I think we're good with that. Um, moving on to Rockwell Johnson Schools, anything on the audit that's new and different, or are we? 
Um, no, yeah, there is. Um, so I, I received an email actually this morning for, or last night from the auditor. And they're in the process of wrapping up their draft or their report. Um, Geraldine had met with him uh, I, to clarify some of the issues around, I don't know, some of the paperwork. And um, so he is scheduling a meeting with me and Jen and Brad Herring probably sometime next week to go over the report. So I think it's actually moving really well and along. Okay. So the. Yes. Sorry. So, so you're, he's completing the report and then you're going to go over the report in your meeting. Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. That hopefully gets us to the point where we're then done and we get some money or. That's correct. <laughs> How much money? I'm sure he's going to tell us next week. <laughs> so okay. I think. I think, um, but um, Geraldine didn't tell me that anything that came out of the meeting. Can you guys hear me? I'm getting a lot of feedback. No, it's, um, no, we can hear you. We're not getting feedback. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I think Gerilyn will, um, when she met with him, um, it, I think the feedback's on my end, um, but I think when Gerilyn met with him, that clarified some questions. So I don't, so, I don't anticipate any issues. So I should be able to let you know more at the next meeting. Okay. And who's the person that is that a new person or is the same person you've met with before or in the, from the. He's from the Department of Administrative Services. His name is Bruce Frederick. Bruce. Bruce. Or is it Frederick Bruce? It's, it's one of the two. Let me look. No, you don't have to. I just was wondering if it was another person that's kind of part of the process or the same person followed you through the whole thing? The same person. Same person. Okay. So I think we're in good shape and I don't really have anything else to report. Okay. So you're going to meet with, he's going to meet with you, Jen and Brad, you said? I believe so, yes. Okay, so, yes. And then the next step is hopefully a check. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then the only, I just have a question on the whole gas leak situation. We're all oh. set with that. Repairs have been oh. made. Oh. I'll let I'll let Jen address the the details of what we're But I I did send uh, Tony Rizzo a letter, and I believe I copied you, Nance. Junius. I am having yeah. horrible feedback. I'm going to try another space. <laughs> okay. The repairs are complete. Yeah. Yeah. So. And Jen, are you getting feedback too, or are you good? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. So we've sent the letter, and where are we with that? Or did we get any kind of response or nothing? Um, I got an email response email from, 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 from right one of you sent the letter. I would say saying he would get back to us, and I haven't heard from him. Quite frankly, I just haven't so busy. I haven't had a chance to follow up with him. So I will. Okay. But we haven't had any other issues with leaks, and there's no other identified uh, things that need to be repaired, replaced, etc. We should be good with that. Yeah. yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, does anybody else have anything? I don't have any invoices. Uh, there might be another STV invoice once we get to the end, but we shouldn't have others. Still should have, I don't know, five, six hundred thousand in contingency. So that's a good thing. And maybe once we get the final reimbursement and are finished with everybody that might send invoices we can do a budget report and look at that okay good 
Anything else? Anybody else have anything on schools, et cetera? Nope. Okay. So, about the high school HVAC, what's going on? There's been lots of emails about the contract, et cetera. So, who wants to start with that? Because I'm not, I mean, get the emails on the contract stuff just to keep it on the loop, but I'm not in the real process. So, Dan, you want to jump in or you want me? I, I can jump in. So, um, like you said, there's been a lot of communication back and forth. Well, I have an echo. I'm sorry. Sorry. Like, keep going. We had this issue before yeah. with echo. Um, so, I'm going to turn me off. I, I, usually, if I don't have my microphone properly set, um, we get feedback, but I, yeah, the um, only mic that should be on right now is the right now. Is host. Yes. meeting host. Yes, and I mine's off completely now. I turned. I just. I got rid. Of, I had. A, I had turned the microphone off. Plus, I turned the sound off, and I. Um, now I turned my computer off completely because I was going to screen share if I needed to, but I don't need to now. Um, is everybody else? Everybody's muted, so I'm not sure where the feedback is coming from. So people try. So when you talk, we don't hear feedback. It's terrible on my end. Oh. I'm going to try logging off and come back on. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think we're very close to having the contract go out. If it hasn't already. Also, the commissioning RFP is going out tomorrow. We've had a lot of progress there. Good. Because I saw that. Um, Craig from Colorado had put, did had given you their input. Yes, I really. Yes, I didn't really have anything that I could add to it, not being versed in RFP. So I think it was good that going through Melanie using one of the former ones, having Sam do a review for the town part, and Colorado do an STV do a review on what was needed on that end. So if that's ready to go out. That's great. So we want to get that's for commissioning. We want to get that in place as soon as possible. Yes, and the bids yes. are due December 5th. Yes. Okay. Is there any sort of a meeting, walk through something, something? I mean, they don't really need to do that. They just look at the plans and. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And, um, and Michael, where, what, what info do you have for us? Or is it just still working on the, getting that contract out? So oh, save yeah. more. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for, uh, I think, uh, to send out a contract, which I think we're there. But, uh, again, we just worked with her to get all our ducks in a row, and I think it's all hashed out finally. So um, hopefully any day now, Save More will get a copy of it. So we need to get a signature from Save More and a signature probably from Dan Carter, correct? That's correct. Yep. I think the last email I saw was uh, Melanie was going to send it to Save More and get it in your hand. And they're going to send it back and Dan will sign. Good. But Save More has already been doing as much as they can without yeah. contract. Yeah. But yeah. They will yeah. 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 Well, they're not going to issue any POs or purchase orders until they, you know, they get a sign contract. Right? So see if they've gone as far as they can at first point. Right. And so you were able to figure out with the contract and the whole alternative to exhaust fan situation of how to kind of include that without it having become a change order, which is going to make the cost go up? Or are we still looking at having, if we can so, do that, having a so, change order? So I have an update on that. In the um, so the Board of Selectmen when made the motion to base it an alternate one only. So if we make the decision to proceed with alternate two, um, which I eventually um, hope we do. Um, the board of selectmen would also have to be involved to finalize that. On your recommendation as a committee, um, and then we have good news from the state grant assistant. Where their, 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 their is the leader for this grant, and she has indicated that as long as we do it in budget, we would be able to include the scope associated with the expansion to the project. So it wouldn't be a complete alternate to. The if we can't do alternate two, we could do the exhaust fans. Alternate two is the exhaust fans. So that's just it. That's not alternate two doesn't include a larger scope. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So is there anything else on this that we need to be aware of or deal with? We're good. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. I think the yeah. only thing, the only thing, yeah, I'll, I'll double check the contract. I'll, I'll yeah. shoot you an email if I have any questions. Okay. All right. So we're good with that. And it's good that that's moving along and get the contract in place as soon as we can. And um, once we get bids back on um, commissioning, where do we go? That goes to procurement and then this procurement bring it to us? Do you bring it to us? And then do we have to approve something or interview people or? You would make a recommendation. Make a recommendation. The board of Blackman and the board of Blackman would. Okay. It's really hard it's really for me to hear, hard but, hard I, hear but I, I believe that um, it's that almost concurrently done. done. The committee looks at it and you guys look at it at the same time and you make the recommendations. Right. Well, the procurement committee will get it first because they'll open the bids. There'll be a procurement committee meeting where they will open the bids and then refer them to us. And then we'll have to go back through them to make the recommendation to the board of selectmen. Okay. So that's it on uh, high school HVAC. Yes. Pretty good with that. All right. So we're good with all you guys. Um, so thank you. And the next meeting is, who is it? Right before, before Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. All right. So. so the next meeting is the day before Thanksgiving. If we're going to need to meet, I need to know if people are available. When is are we going to need? I don't think we're going to meet. Are we? Are we? No, I can't make it. Yeah. I don't think we need to meet the day before Thanksgiving. No. No. I got 20 All right. Because emails. if the bids are not coming in for CES until uh, or from for commissioning until. Um, driving up to Boston. December and the Another contract is thing. the only thing we're waiting on and then once the contract signed save more starts doing work more work they can start ordering things that I don't see a need to at least with this project and I don't think with the other two we're going to have much to do so I think we'll probably end up canceling that meeting and our so the next meeting would be then December 11th and I can this give a, a um a email um, update if the email I do think yeah, if there's anything, especially with the audit, if you have anything, send it out to all the members and, you know, that'll be just good news. All right. So thank you, um, everybody, school people, STV. The only other thing we have on our agenda is the Municipal Center locker room renovation. And I have nothing new on that. So again, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, we've got vacancies we're going to have to fill. We've got to figure out how to do that. The biggest issue as far as having an, a quorum to do is the high school, the HVAC. And, and once we get commissioning into place, it's almost like everything, the only thing will be invoices. So that should keep rolling along. We just need to have some people get in place. And I will be talking about that with the powers that be soon. Anybody knows of anybody that might be a good fit here, you know, send info, you know, either through me or okay. Dan, let the board select me know because they're the ones that have, they do the appointing of the boards and commissions. And I said, as I said, they usually do that in January. Sometimes they have names to put forward and they'll approve them in December if they have meetings going on and they'll say the person starts in January. So, so what are we, I you know, Democrat Independent Democrat. Yeah, I'm just trying to think like I have You're friends. Saying, You're, saying now, right? no, You're getting off this? Oh. I don't blame you. I haven't tried it. It's been 20 something years. <laughs> so, anyways, if anybody has any uh, ideas of people, you know, you can send them along. We might, people okay. might want to do some vetting for just to make sure does the person understand what they're doing? Do they really want to get into this, et cetera? Some people think, oh, that's great. And then they find out, no, it's a lot of work. Yeah, so so I was pulling. Yeah, so I got a bridge for sale. <laughs> so again, we're not going to meet in um, two weeks. We'll meet in December. We'll go from there. In December, we'll definitely have to look at a calendar and 
we what we, we end up doing is setting up all the meetings ahead of time. Like I said, they need to be posted. All meetings, all boards and commissions have to have their meetings set up ahead of time for the year. It's kind of blurred, but if there's not much going on, we could be every two weeks or even once a month, right? It's so the them. thing we have to think about, we used to meet once a month. Right. Yeah. And then we started, uh, I think, right around the time. Was the, it? I think it was the police station. Police it wasn't station. the library. Yeah. Yeah. With the police station, we started meeting uh, twice a month because there was a lot that we had to keep deciding, doing invoices, but also changes, change orders, keeping up with things, keeping things moving, keeping the project moving. Right. And that was crazy. Yeah. And it's easier to cancel a meeting than it is to set up a special meeting. So Absolutely. in the past, that's why we've kept with the yep. um, second and fourth Tuesday or Wednesday By month and month. canceling if we can. Yep. So we'll might just do the same thing. We'll say it, it, I think this is the second meeting in December, like Christmas Eve or something like that. Yeah. And that's if we're looking at the same kind of situation with the biggest thing we have to deal with is HBSC. Yeah. It's Christmas Day, so yeah, yeah we're not going to meet. No, <laughs> and I think if we're looking at the HVAC being the biggest thing, and, and the contracts are in place and things are moving along, then it's not a big deal. I don't think we'll have to have a special meeting or any of that. So, um, you know, then we go to January. So um, by then we'll have usually what, and Kathy is very good at putting the calendar together. But usually, what we and most commissions and boards will do this is you make your calendar go out to the end of January the following year. So you're covered for that January just in case you don't get your calendar in place mm -hmm. until January. So that's official. Uh, otherwise you'd have to if it's not officially on the calendar, you have to make it a special meeting. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So from now on, who's gonna do your job? Do it now though. Yeah. Got the chance. Oh, I make a motion to adjourn. Any second? Right. Who seconded it? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Happy Thank Thanksgiving you. to everyone. We'll Sorry. be in touch. Hey, you're going to be the adjourn. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh, be no, not sure no. Never. No. Close, but I got too much stuff going on in my world. Bye.